This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 715. Family life doesn't need to be so busy. Here's how I slow it down. By Emma Scheib of simpleslowlovely.com. Hello, everybody, and happy Friday. Welcome to the final episode of the week. I am Greg Audino, and I am here to narrate a variety of relationship blogs to optimize the many relationships in your life. I am also on Optimal Living Advice, however, our newest show in the old network. And on that one, I take viewer questions like yours and use my life coaching background to answer them personally for you on the show. It is a great place to learn not only about relationships and real-life examples of relationship struggles, but also a variety of things such as stress, life purpose, habits, work-life balance. We talk about all these things. We talk about it all over there, honestly. So go ahead and check it out. And if there is something you're struggling with that you'd like my help with, send your concern to us at advice at oldpodcast.com. Advice at oldpodcast.com. Email it there. We will feature your question on the show and help you out. Now, today on ORD, I am narrating a post from our old friend Emma Scheib on how even the busiest moms and dads can live more intentionally. Let's get right into it and start optimizing your life. Family Life Doesn't Need to Be So Busy, Here's How I Slow It Down, by Emma Scheib of SimpleSlowLovely.com. We are only four, a small family really, and yet I often feel as though I'm managing the schedules of a small army instead. It's busy and often overwhelming. And so I have become a hunter, fervently hunting down small pockets of slow amongst the trenches of busy family life. I seek slow because this is where I most often find magical moments. It's where I create the most memories and where I feel the most relaxed and free. And it's what my kids need. My two kids thrive with swaths of unscheduled time. Time to get bored. Time to explore. They need slow as much as I do. So I hunt slow. It's good for me and it's good for my family. Four ways I unapologetically slow down family time. Under schedule. I don't care to sign us up for much. I say no to more than one extracurricular activity per child per school term. Focusing on one activity gives them an opportunity to practice diligence with one skill and means I don't spend all my time taxi driving. Can I hear an amen to that? I say no to more than one or two pre-planned activities per weekend. We don't need to fill our downtime with things that make us more exhausted and needing a day to recover from our weekend. So no to two birthday parties, a brunch date, church, and a trip to the zoo. Underscheduling our lives allow for magical, spontaneous moments that would never arise when each hour of the day is accounted for. Prioritize yourself. I unapologetically make self-care a priority. If I want to live a slower pace of life, be a calmer mom, then I have to ensure that I take good care of myself. If you don't already prioritize yourself, it's time to do it. When I am unable to do my morning routine, I usually wind up feeling stressed and frantic by the end of the day. Being able to give to myself first by having coffee on the deck while reading, followed by running my dog, means I'm more likely to go slower and be more intentional for the remainder of the day. I rely so heavily on some sort of self-care each day that I sometimes feel unable to think clearly until I've had space for myself. And I do this unapologetically knowing it's the most unselfish thing I can do. I am a nicer person, a better friend, and a kinder mom and wife when I've made myself a priority. Ditch technology more often. I have found that technology, my phone and laptop, feed an illusion that I'm busy. If I'm not careful, I can easily become a slave to my notifications, emails, or even just the ease of having the world at my fingertips. Instead of being productive, I can easily fall into the trap of busy work that's fed by other people's demands and schedules. To combat this, I have no notifications on my phone. I look at my phone on my own terms. I simply refuse to be at the mercy of someone else's agenda. If it's important, they call or visit me. Most things don't require an immediate response. Spend time in nature. How many times have you gone to the beach or on a walk in the woods and lost track of time? only to be amazed at the hours that have passed. But at the same time, you felt as though time has expanded in front of you, almost limitless. 
Nature has a wonderful way of changing our perception of time. When we are constantly indoors, at the mercy of phones and other modern devices, we can easily fill our time with chores and are easily distracted. Living like this can be akin to living in a fight-or-flight mode. In contrast, when we spend time outdoors and allow ourselves to be led by nature, it gives our brains a chance to recover. Time in nature boosts creativity and decreases stress and negative emotions. If you schedule anything for this week, let it be time outdoors as a family. If you're feeling frantic and stressed by the pressures of modern family life, take some time to consider what might help you slow things down. Perhaps it's one of these things, or something different. Become a hunter, fervently seeking slow pockets of time. Rebel against busy and ban the word hurry. Because there is a magic hidden in the margins, memories to be made in the pauses, and freedom to be found at a slower pace. Unschedule and say no to busy family life. They need it, and so do you. You just listened to the post titled, Family Life Doesn't Need to Be So Busy, Here's How I Slow It Down, by Emma Scheib of SimpleSlowLovely.com. And thank you so much to Emma for that great post. You know, what I took from that is really just purpose, 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 doing things purposefully and making sure the things we allow in our lives are there deliberately. You know, that's of utmost importance to anyone, let alone those who have families and have their attention divided enough as it is. The more we have going on that takes from our free time, the more imperative it is to make sure we're using the rest of our time purposefully and not just going with the motions and letting our personal lives be run by whatever circumstances happen to come around. So this was a great reminder by Emma to be deliberate in what we choose to occupy our time with, parent or not, and we thank her for that. We are done for now, though, folks. Thank you so much for swinging by all week. I hope you have a great weekend, and do remember to schedule in some all-important time for self-care and quality time with your family. I'll see you again next week, where your optimal life awaits.